come to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to solve this interesting g advanced model integral so how to begin well uh, i think uh, the use substitution uh, method uh, will work and here we have inverse tan of x uh, so we know uh, this formula uh, inverse tan of uh, x minus y over 1 plus x y is equal to inverse tan of x minus inverse tan of y <coughs> and uh, if we take uh, this type of substitution we can break uh, our integral into two different integrals so i am going to take the substitution x is equal to x is equal to 2 minus t over 1 plus 2 times t here we have x minus y and here 1 plus product of this uh, angle so here I'm, i i take uh, 2 minus t and product of uh, 2 times t we know 1 plus 2 times t okay then uh, we should differentiate this so uh, dx is equal to now we can apply quotient rule so here 1 plus 2 times t perfect square and here 1 plus 2 times t then derivative of 2 minus t we know minus 1 then minus then rewrite 2 minus t then uh, derivative of 1 plus 2 times t we know 2 and here d t then uh, we can simplify here uh, minus 2 times t here uh, minus minus plus 2 times t get cancelled so here we have uh, 2 2 minus 4 minus 1 so minus 5 over 1 plus 2 times t square also uh, we should uh, change the boundary we know when x approaches to 0 when uh, x approaches to 0 t approaches to 2 then upper limit when x approaches to 2 when x approaches to so sorry 2 uh, we know 2 plus 4 times t uh, so we can simplify t uh, t is equal to 0 okay then here we can plug in now uh, limit we know 2 to 0 2 to 0 here uh, inverse tan of now x we know 2 minus t over 1 plus 2 times t over 1 plus here 1 plus x x we know 2 minus t over 1 plus 2 times t perfect square uh, times dx dx we know minus 5 over 1 plus 2 times t square d t okay then uh, we can uh, simplify here uh, we can interchange these boundaries when we change these boundaries this minus sign get cancelled so here 0 to 2 and this 5 is a constant so we can write outside of the integral sign and according to this formula we can write here uh, inverse tan of 2 minus inverse tan of t over now uh, let's simplify uh, the denominator we know 1 plus 2 times t is called get cancelled and here we have 1 times 1 plus 2 times t is called so 1 plus 2 times t perfect square plus here uh, 1 plus 2 times t plus 2 minus t so 2 plus 1 we know 3 plus 2 times t minus t we know plus t square d t okay then uh, here 5 times integral from 0 to 2 inverse tan of 2 minus inverse tan of t over now uh, if we simplify this uh, 4 times t square here t square so we have 5 times t square then middle term here 6 times t here 4 times t so 10 times t uh, plus here uh, 3 square 9 here plus 1 so we have 10 here dt now we know this 5 get cancelled so uh, we have integral from 
0 to 2 inverse tan of 2 minus inverse tan of t over t square plus 2 times t plus 1 I am going to write uh, using perfect square t plus 1 square so t square plus 2 times t plus 1 but here plus 2 so here plus 1 d t okay then uh, we can split this integral into two different integrals so here integral from uh, 0 to 2 inverse tan of 2 over 1 plus t plus 1 square dt then minus integral from 0 to 2 inverse tan of t over 1 plus t plus 1 square dt okay then um, here we have i so we can write now i is equal to now here inverse tan of 2 is a constant so we can write outside of the integral sign and here we have uh, to integrate 1 over 1 plus t plus 1 square we know uh, arc tan inverse tan uh, so here inverse tan of 1 plus t from 0 to 2 from 0 to 2 and here uh, we can write uh, uh, our integral uh, we have the variable t so we know the definite integral independent of the variable so we can write instead of t we can plug in x so here integral from 0 to 2 inverse tan of x over 1 plus x plus 1 square dx and we know this integral is our main integral i so we can write 2 times i is equal to here inverse tan of 2 times if we apply 2 we have inverse tan of 3 minus inverse tan of if you apply 0 we have 1 okay then uh, 2 times i is equal to inverse tan of 2 times here now we can again apply this formula so we have inverse tan of uh, 3 minus 1 we know 2 uh, 1 plus 3 times 1 we know 4 so here we have uh, 1 times 2 and also we know uh, this property inverse tan of 1 over x is equal to inverse cotangent of x so we can write uh, i is equal to 1 half 1 half inverse tan of 2 and here inverse tan of 1 over 2 we know inverse cotangent of 2 okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching